I'm a hospice nurse who has legally witnessed someone ending their own life while on hospice due to the death with dignity law. And here is what I found. Now, I have no idea if TikTok's going to allow this video even to go out on the For You page because of its contents, but I hope so because there's a lot to learn. If you're not familiar with the death with dignity law, it's in 10 different states, which allows someone in America to end their own life if they have a terminal illness, less than six months to live, and meet criteria. I have witnessed this, so let me tell you what it's like. The patient will get the medication. Once they get the medication, they can do they can do it whenever they plan to do it, but they have to tell the hospice team so they're aware. The patient themselves is the only one that can mix up the medication and ingest it. No one else can do it for them. Once they ingest that medication, which they have to do it very quickly after they mix it up, once they ingest it, it usually takes anywhere from three to five minutes to fall asleep. I have witnessed this, and they do fall asleep very quickly. I would say three to five minutes for sure. After the three to five minutes, they are fully asleep, and their body will quickly go from that to actively dying, meaning showing all signs of actively dying, fully unresponsive, eyes partially open, mouth partially open, changes in breathing, changes in skin color, and terminal secretions, a.k.a. the death rattle. The person shows no sign of pain or distress. Usually within 45 minutes to a few hours, the patient will die. As the nurse being there, I will support the patient, support the family during this time, helping the family know this is okay, what they're doing is okay, how they're breathing is okay, and then eventually pronounce them dead. Although I fully agree with the death with dignity law, it is still very heavy and very hard on me as a nurse. It's hard to watch a patient ingest that medication. It's hard to watch the family say goodbye. It's hard to watch the family wait until the person dies. You know, it's hard. It's sad. It's heavy. But <laughs> with deep sadness comes deep, deep love. And it's also an honor. It is an honor to be a part of someone's last few hours. It's an honor to hold space and make the family feel safe and secure and to see the love and support that is given to this person who's dying. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable to witness the love. I fully support this law and I hope this decreases your fear a bit.